In this tutorial, we will create a new agent based on the following scenario. We want to identify students who are falling behind in the course. To do this, we will create an agent that will send an email when a student hasn't logged in for a certain period of time and achieves a failing grade on a particular grade item. This notification will be sent to both the student and the instructor. To begin, select New Agent. Start by giving your agent a name. A description is a good place to summarize the purpose and criteria for your agent. It appears on the Agent List page and is especially helpful if you have a long list. Use the Status checkbox to enable your agent. Agent criteria has two options, login activity and release conditions. They can be used individually or together. If you are using them together, both the login activity and release condition must be met to qualify the agent criteria. Let's start by looking at login activity. To enable this criteria, you need to select the checkbox. By default, user has not logged in for at least X days is selected. For our scenario, we want to identify users who have not logged in within the last five days. You can also add a release condition. Release conditions are used in several parts of the learning environment and are covered in a separate video tutorial. Select your condition type. For our scenario, we want to identify users who haven't achieved a particular grade value on a grade item. And next, specify the condition details. In our scenario, this is a gradebook item. Now we need to identify the criteria. In our scenario, we want to identify students who have achieved less than or equal to 50%. Our release condition has now been added to our agent criteria. When working with multiple release conditions, you have two options. All of the following conditions must be met, or any of the following conditions. In our scenario, we only have one release condition, so I will leave it set to all. To review, based on our selections, a user has not logged in for at least five days and has received a grade of less than or equal to 50% on the Forms of Business Ownership grade item. This concludes Part 1 of Creating Intelligent Agents. View Part 2 to learn about configuring agent actions.